You're always asking permission of your partnership and you're always trying to convince your colleagues that something's a good idea and that the team is really special. From a really early age, I was influenced by my parents, who are both engineers and entrepreneurs. Long before I should have had this kind of responsibility, I got to work with their team and their startup, CASA Systems. And uh, after that and a startup of my own that didn't work as well, I fell into an investing and finance role at Goldman Sachs, where I met two of my partners, uh, Anil Bessery, who's the founder of Workday, and Reid Hoffman, who's the founder of LinkedIn. They were both just amazing operators and investors, and they said, you should, you should try doing this early stage venture thing. People think it's really hard to be not a partner at a, at a venture firm. I actually think it's, it's really no different than being a partner because you're always asking permission of your partnership and you're always trying to convince your colleagues that something's a good idea and that a team is really special. Everyone at Greylock has a different point of view and different operating and investing experiences. And we rarely agree on whether or not a company is a good idea at the beginning, but just like fielding questions in a critical and authentic way and and trying to understand like what the um, trying to do truth seeking together when people say bots they mean a, a number of different markets and products and so I think some of the biggest opportunities right now are anywhere where you have a conversation happening between a consumer and a business because you know offering a better customer experience is an advantage for your business and getting efficiency is an advantage for your business and chatbots or or just more natural ways to interact on these new messaging platforms or even by voice will really help businesses create that better experience. So that's definitely one area. I also think that a lot of investors are talking about how mobile uh, distribution is broken and how it's really hard to get new apps to grow in the app store and how mobile is mature today. I think that's totally not right. And a big part of the sort of messaging and bots um, excitement is that there's a new distribution channel, right? So be that through Apple's iMessage app store or through Facebook Messenger, or as we've seen in China with WeChat, uh, businesses, and startups can reach consumers more rapidly without native applications through these platforms.